What's up, everybody? We're back. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to a Metalhead's Journey. Hey, so we're back here on the Unlucky Morpheus train. We've done a couple of their songs in the past, and so we thought uh, we would check out another one here. So this song is called Night of Sword, and uh, this is a live video. This is from a concert. It looks like it came out a few years ago, so... Uh, we've loved the other songs from them, so we're excited about this one. Hey, while you guys are here, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Let it, <clears throat> excuse me, let us know what you think about the track down here in the comments, and uh, hey, let us know if we're missing out on any other uh, great songs from the band here. Dave, let's go. Here we go. It's good that we're still on the train. That's nice. Yeah. Ooh. I love that little symphonic part. Yeah. Back there. I love the Trevor's facial expressions. I can already tell you right now the drummer's a highlight. Oh, the guitar players are pretty damn good. Yeah, they are. The violinist is very good as well. Yeah. Also the singer. I like that riff. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. One of the guitarists has like a blazer on. Can you, can you uh, comment on the significance of his China? It's extreme. A little classical tone. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Half uh, solo by the bass. These guys, are they coming for love bites or what? It's a joke. Up it's a break. joke. Up, Everybody up stop. Everybody stop. I'm kidding. Well, this is pretty fucking nice, though. It is. Oh, I like that riff. Yeah.
Dude, that guy's neck tattoo is something serious. I know, dude. It just makes my knees hurt. No, I see it. I feel like that part has to be live. God oh, damn. Dude, that was uh that was really, really good. Jason, I'm, thoughts. I'm gonna say something that's kinda weird, but uh the first half of this song I was thinking to myself, you know, this is this is not as strong as the other two songs. But as soon as they went into the solo section and then coming out of the solo section, this was untouchable. Uh, that solo section was fantastic. Uh, you, you got a solo by each of the guitarists as well as the bassist, the, uh, bass player, and the drummer uh, got some in there. I yeah, feel like the violinist get, was the only yeah, one that didn't get any shine. Yeah, you didn't get the violin solo this time, but I thought that was uh, I thought that was well done. And then you come out of that, it's it's uh, it's a different vibe coming out of the solo. It's almost like it's heavier, and then you get some more halftime. Yeah. I feel like that very last section, that halftime section, should have been way heavier and it probably was it just it didn't translate on youtube unfortunately i thought it was great yeah. i thought it was uh, very entertaining look i was i was definitely joking in the middle of that about coming for uh love bites because listen we all know love bites is the greatest band in the history of time but i would say that this is definitely in the ballpark of love bites in terms of the style and everything that they were going for right there like i feel like this is the closest thing i've heard from any other band um, kind of out there right now that's like almost doing the same thing. So like it was very impressive um, getting to have everybody have their own little solo section was super fun. Vocals, Jesus, man. She was fucking belting it the whole time. Like yeah, super cool. Hey, as always, maybe a little aggressive vocal would have been okay. Well, we've heard we've heard this band. Uh, one of the guitarists does aggressive vocal. Yeah. It's just not not every yeah. song. You know, you don't. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying maybe maybe a little bit in there would have been okay. But look, I'm I'm not missing it. I, it's not what I'm saying. Great yeah, song, though. It, Fuck, man. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I, you guys already kind of said it. I think I think the whole song from start to finish was fantastic. Uh, you know, had definitely can hear some of the classical music uh, influences. Uh, I imagine uh, it would shock me if multiple people in this band weren't classically trained uh at music schools On different instruments yeah. probably uh yeah probably so uh which you know i, I again I, I always compare the same shit i feel like but gave me dream theater vibes because those guys are also uh berkeley music nerds classically trained and so i kind of get the same vibe from this band you know injecting that into metal um so yeah definitely some progressive metal influences and just just they were just kicking ass man that drummer was all over the place uh you know bass player really like it's funny because as the song was going like man i can't really hear the bass player too much yeah. and then he got it he got his own section uh and i thought it was fantastic so i'm glad uh, great song i loved it yeah awesome hey hope I, you guys like the video oh go ahead jason i was just gonna say i wish that more bands took advantage of tap bass in some of the metal songs not just on the solo but <laughs> As something that you could actually overlay on the solo or in the bridge section more often. That it's something that you don't get a lot of. It's yeah, great because it's because bass playing is terrible. Hey, I uh, hope you guys liked the video. He's if joking. you did here, give us a like. I'm not joking. Give us a subscribe. We're putting out <laughs> weekly metal content right now, and Justice for All is the greatest album of all time. Uh, we're doing metal reactions, metal reviews, um, and all kinds of other cool shit. Hey, in the meantime, and Justice for All for life. Take it easy, everybody. See you later.